Okay guys, today I got a uh, video for you on how to install LEDs on the uh, 07 to 14 instrument clusters. This is one I've uh, robbed the processor on. I'm waiting on more to come in from China. I'll be putting a new one back on here. Uh, but you can still uh, put uh, light up the LEDs without it. It's not controlled by the processor. It's just hardwired in. So uh, as you just give it some power and uh, they'll, they'll light up. So I've already worked on this cluster before. Um, I practiced a little bit with these because these are a new bulb. I wanted to make sure they worked before I did this video. So um, normally we'd use uh, PLCC2s on here where it's just the two little connectors but the original bulb is a PLCC4 which had four connections so I've actually sourced PLCC4s that are the correct ones because I, I don't like the way the PLCC2s look on there so I'll pull it up closer to the camera so you can see what I'm talking about so when you use the PLCC2s you have to kind of offset it because the uh, connections a little off let's see and not focused let's get it focused in there anyway you see how they're just kind of sitting off while the P PLCC 4s which I've already installed some on they actually populate all the spot all the pins so uh, there's other things I like about the PLCC 4s because there's actually three um, filaments inside it well they're not filaments but you know three um, elements to the to the LED so if one fails there's still two other ones while these just have the one going across it so there's redundancy with these so they are less likely to fail on you um, so I do like the PLCC 4s better than the uh, than the 2s they also just have a better look to them so go ahead and power them up real quick so you can see like either way works but these are a little bit brighter I don't know if it'll show up on camera yeah you're not really capturing that on camera but these are a little bit brighter. I kind of it's got a little bit uh, more of a blue color to it. These are a little more purple looking. So I definitely like the way the PLCC fours look better than the twos on here. But yeah, see so as you can see, it powers right up, lights up without the uh, processor on there. So that's that's about it for showing it. Now we'll uh, actually uh, take a look at one under the microscope, just that way you can see the different uh, bond wires in there and see see how they look different and then uh, I'll uh, swap some out on here okay, okay so, so first, first here I'll show you why they're, why they're called, called a PLCC2 2 and PLCC4 so the 2 just has two connections while the 4 has four connections kind of common sense there but just wanted to show it just in case you're not too familiar with these let me flip them over now so I'll show you the difference in the inside of them so, let's, let's see, see get, get them, them both, both on, on camera, camera here. here. All right, trying to get them both on the camera. There we go, got them both kind of on camera. So you can see there are four uh, planes inside of the PLCC4, and then you just got the two inside the PLCC2, two. and the, the PLCC2 two just has one emitter there in the center, center while, while the, the PLCC4 PLCC has uh, three emitters inside it, one, uh, one, one sitting on, I believe those are the ground planes. planes. I, I'd have to go look again. I can't remember if it's one positive and then three grounds or uh, three positives and one ground. I'm pretty sure it's three grounds, one positive for it. Um, and yeah, you see you got your bond wire going in between each of the emitters uh, inside there. And so you have, uh, you know, a couple more bond wires inside of here. But uh, again, you have that redundancy. So if one fails, you still have the other two going. Well, if one of these fails, the whole thing's gone. So um, there's your kind of differences in the PLCC2 and PLCC4. And I just, I like having that redundancy of this. Um, and on top of that, I just like that it, it looks better on the board having something taking up all four uh, soldering points instead of something kind of shifted off to the side sitting on the corner. So that's why I chose to go with these PLCC cores for all my future um, instrument clusters that I do on these. Uh, I had been using the PLCC too, so I'd uh, seen somebody else do it. And uh, I was like, yeah, oh, that's pretty neat. I'll just do that. And then I uh, kind of did a little research myself and found these. And I was like, oh, well, let's just use these. They uh, cost about the same and uh, gives you a little more redundancy in there. It's a little more durable for you. I also like the color of this better too. It's uh, a little bit more blue while the PLCC 2s I had been getting were a little closer to purple and blue. So uh, let's, let's go ahead and switch back over and do some work. Uh, I'm not going to do the work under the microscope. It's kind of hard to work uh, under this microscope, but uh, I'll go ahead and swap them over on there and uh, show you how they look. 
Okay, so let's start with just getting off all of these PLCC 2s that I'd already put on this board. Uh, so I've already done this side and that side. So these are done. Let's go ahead and do these real quick. I'm just going to get them off of there. Um, let's start with that. Okay, so that outer ring are all of the backlight LEDs. The um, these two and those are all um, the red ones that come up for the uh, needle. I'm just gonna leave them red because I'm gonna use red needles in here anyways. Um, but let's go ahead and um, clean these up. And so let me get the solder wick out. Clean it up real quick. Just give it a nice smooth surface to work with. Okay, so then uh, get all the loose ones off of there that I just flicked off. Um, if you look closely, you can see you have a uh, kind of white dot there at uh, each one of these. Uh, that one you can't see because of the flux on it, but uh, there you, go. you should be able to see that one too. The little white dot uh, that or orients the uh, way that your LED is going to go on there. So then you just uh, kind of there's a little indent on here and you'll just match the indent side to where it is the indent is actually on the opposite so you got the four corners uh the, so you're gonna have the dot on this corner your indents on this corner but just as long as you got the this it going to the right side on there it works so you know if you got it upside down if your indent is down it would be it would be down here and your dot was right there you had it wrong so if that makes sense i'm kind of just doing this all out in the space here but all right, let's get these on there. Okay, so here it is all back together. You can see that uh, blue color to it instead of that light blue, the almost aqua color that the uh, original ones are. I couldn't find the actual needles. I found like one of them, so I just threw some other ones on top of here. But this one's not all the way done. I still got to put a new processor on here, and I'm actually going to convert this into a 6-gauge cluster instead of the 4-gauge because nobody wants a 4-gauge. Uh, but there's a little bit more work to be involved in that. Before I do that, I need to sell this one that I did because uh, I just don't like having too many on hand at a time so before I finish doing this project I need to sell this one so it might be a little while till you see me do the um, the uh, addition of the other two gauges to it but uh, you know just uh, subscribe so that way you can catch that video in the future and I'll uh, see you on the next video